change in uh, caseload. No, right? no, it's just um, cost of doing business. You're saying it's going up, or right? Or, right. Yeah. Cost of doing business, and so. So how how does this work? So I see a police prosecutor, Dennis Coyne, um, thirty five thousand dollars. That can't be his full time position. He's got. No. He's spending a percentage. Here. How can you be an employee, classified as an employee, and then have an outside practice? I don't understand how that works. They're, we're part time. Did you say you're being treated not as an employee in this, or you are treated as an employee? I am an employee. For this? For this. Okay. Right. That, that is the allocation of my total compensation to the police Trigger prosecutor's job. Police prosecutor. So I have your overall compensation. How much time do you spend and do the other prosecutors spend out of a week or whatever? I don't know how you... Dennis Coyne is there is scheduled to be there all day Wednesday and Friday mornings. Mm -hmm. Steve Patton is scheduled to be there on Tuesdays, all day Tuesday and Thursdays and on Mondays and if there's anything going on on a Friday afternoon I'm going to take care of that. So you're basically one day a week kind of a thing. One, one and a half days a week. Now do they, do they, do they have, so, so they've got so they're, do they have, they don't have medical then out of this? No. Okay. Just the regular OPERS right. contributions and all that? Right. Okay. And I see like on here with, with the Geauga Park District, um, have, 